Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. We're back with another Where Am I uh, in the series. This is number 11. Uh, we just did Where Am I, aerial edition of cities. This time we're going to do the countries, not aerial, just regular photos. Taken from ground level? Taken from ground level, back going back to the roots All here. All right. Uh, original series. Couple, okay. Original in the first couple of uh, videos in the series. So I need you to tell me what country you are in. I'm going to show you a photo, and you have to tell me what country are we in. So if you're new, that's kind of how we do it. There's usually 10. I think we choose 10 photos. And uh, see how smart you are. And I will give you a little hint. This one is probably the most difficult that we've ever done. Lovely. There are a few relatively easy ones, but overall, mostly um, percentage-wise, this is very difficult. So... Uh, if you get a good score in this one, I will be genuinely impressed. So I hope you guys can play along too. Uh, most people do. Most people grab a pen and a paper and uh, record how they did and then share it with us down in the comment section. That's that's the reason why we do these videos. Is It's a fun fun thing for us and it's a fun thing for you to play along and we can all have some fun. Uh, no no pressure, no pressure, no stress, just, just having some fun. So are you ready? I am feeling pressure and stress. Are you really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. It's a worldwide audience. I have to that's true. try my best. The thousands of people will see this video. Oh my god! <laughs> if we're lucky, five thousand. Usually, that's these, these videos get about two or three. So, okay. if we're lucky, five thousand. But yeah. Um, speaking of that, if you did like this video, if you like the the videos we've done in the past series, share them with a friend and see how they did, and see if they did better than you when you first originally played these. Mm. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Like I said, the country. So we've got the first one up here. Let's hear it. I can look? You can look. You're, you have my permission. What country is this? What country is this? Good grief. Like I said, it's very difficult. How can I tell? <laughs> you got to use your brain. That's, yeah. You, use, you have to use your knowledge machine. My brain is old. Well, um, some, you need to look at the vegetation. You need to look at the trees. The We've got rock. We've got igneous rock. We have some palms, little palms sticking up out of the rock. So that suggests semi-tropical or tropical location and it looks like sandbars and things out in the distance so it's not just rock it's also got some sandy mm -hmm. terrain not much for mountains in the distance but it's I think maybe it's a stitching thing but it looks like it kind of curves up there yeah, on the it's left a bit of a stitching thing. so it looks pretty flat otherwise yeah it is so I'd say it's pretty flat what country are we in mm -hmm. <laughs> this is probably the most difficult one we've ever done well, it certainly looks like the most difficult one I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's very tough. But it's got that crazy tree, that that almost a uh, haunted house-looking Stephen King tree. Yeah, a little the, bit, eh? Center left, yeah. And it looks dead because everything else, not everything, but a lot of the other things seem to have vegetation. But it looks to be quite dry. It's quite dry, mm -hmm. even though it's near the, the water. Hmm... I wonder... You sure that's water? Well, I'm starting to wonder now. <laughs> if it's not water, it used to be. Yep. Maybe it is water, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm going to say... Like, for instance, what's a, what if that's Lake Baikal? And we're in... Yeah, because I know where that is. Kazakhstan or oh, something. Kazakhstan. Uh or it's the Dead Sea and we're looking from Israel or Jordan. I'm going to say Israel. Israel. That is incorrect. I'm shocked. This is an African country. Ah. With that little hint. You're still wrong. I'm going to mark you wrong. But yeah, mark like me to, wrong. But like I like the guess, whole hint thing, so give me a chance. If you'd so. like to guess of an African country. Okay, that narrows it down to about <laughs> 50 countries. Yeah. Um, Egypt. Incorrect. Okay. This is Botswana. Oh, I never would have gotten Like it. I said, this was probably the most difficult one we've ever done. Yeah. I I've wanna, heard Botswana on the radio, have you? but I wouldn't recognize it in a picture. I wanted to get this one in here and get it out of the way because I know it's going to be the most difficult. Yeah. The Voice of America has a transmitter in Botswana. Oh. I bet you didn't know that. Uh, no, I, no, I did. no, I did not. <laughs> no. All, All right. right. Number two. Number two. Well, that's my job. Oh. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So you've got all kinds of uh, vegetation, cultivated vegetation. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like corn, really, but it's got the right height. I think it's wheat or uh, not yeah, wheat. Yeah, uh, it's standing up awfully straight. 
You've got those beautiful cloud formations. Very flat, very plain prairie looking. I wonder if that's the Pampas or What's whether that? it's just the prairies. It's grasslands in Argentina. Oh. But uh, it looks like grass, but this has been farmed. Yep. On the right, that's been harvested already, and it's it's mm-hmm. it's denuded, as we'd say. On the left, it hasn't been, but it's not very really green looking. It's kind of dry and crunchy, crispy looking. So, um, wow. And I just have to come up with the country. Yep. Well, that should be easy. Okay. Just a joke. Um. Oh heck, Argentina. Incorrect. You over. Overthunk this one. Overthunk. Overthunk. It's the uh, United States of America. And where in the States is it? Kansas. Is it really? Yep. There we go. Kansas. <coughs> Excuse Which me? makes sense now that sure you does. Look, look at it. Got that Kansas, of course, that's Kansas look to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You ready for number three? I am. Wow. How pretty is that? So we're standing on what looks like a glacier, maybe. Looks like snow underfoot, or maybe it's um, ashes great. from a mountain, former volcano, or something. I don't know. It's not snow. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you that much. It's yeah. not snow. So maybe it's rock. So it's maybe a volcanic or something. And we're not above the tree line. The trees are all around us. Mm-hmm. Looks like a river going down there. We just have to identify the country. Mm-hmm. Well, it's got that Rocky Mountains kind of look to it, but there are a million places in the world that probably could look like this if you squinted and <laughs> looked at it the right way. But just based on the vastness of this and the unoccupied mountainous terrain, I'm going to say Canada. Canada, you are correct. Yep. This is just off the Icefields Parkway. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So we're between Banff and Jasper. That's correct. Yep. We're just actually closer to Banff than we are Jasper here. Okay. I think. Okay. Cool. Next up. Oh, wow. We're up high. We're mm-hmm. up higher than the clouds. I think this one's going to shock you. <clears throat> really? Oh, this one's a little tricky, yeah. Is that right? You might feel like saying uh, Switzerland or, I don't know, something like that. But I think this one's going to shock you. Maybe not Switzerland, but... Yeah. Well, I, wasn't, I wouldn't have thought Switzerland because the Alps, I think, are a lot more mm-hmm. pointy and, and a lot higher. I see vegetation here in front, right in the foreground. There's grasses, grassland of some kind. Mm-hmm. And and shrubbery or whatever you'd call it, and even on the the hills in the distance, like the closest one has some green. A little farther back, I don't see it, but that could just be because it's farther away and it's obscured by the fog and the poor visibility in the distance. So I don't think we're all that high. We're above the clouds, but clouds can be right on the ground. We mm-hmm. usually call that fog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm saying we're, or I'm thinking we're probably probably only a few thousand feet up here. Uh, Maybe no more than seven or eight thousand. So, okay. if that's the case, are these the mountains of Scotland? Is it Iceland? Is it Newfoundland? Is this part of Gross Morn? It doesn't look like it really, but I've been surprised before. I was only at Gross Morn once, and I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I couldn't believe I was in Newfoundland. Mm. There was so much mountainous terrain and forbidding-looking terrain too, and big fields of boulders and all kinds of crazy stuff. Would you like some hints? Yes, I would. This is not North America. Okay. This is not South America. Okay. It's not Central America. It's not New Zealand. It's not Australia. It's not Russia. Okay. It's not so, Africa. So, so it's Europe or Asia, uh, but not Russia, which occupies not Russia. some of Europe and a heck of a lot of Asia. Nope. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to say... Finland. Finland. Ooh. I can, I can see this potentially being Finland. There's probably some places here that, uh, but it's not, it's uh, Romania. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Very interesting. This one's, this one was really tricky. It's very difficult. Well, very difficult. But yeah. when I think of Romania, I, I guess I don't know Romania that well. Well, even Romanian people would look at this and, you know, oh yeah, I've been there many times. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's obviously an isolated place, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, next up. Next up. Oh. This one's very tricky. There's a lot of different clues here steering you in a lot of different directions. 
and I can see a name of the street. Porca. Porca. Porca Lacua or something like that? Porca Lacuta? <laughs> I don't know. Lacutu? Uh, Lacuta? But they speak. Well, I shouldn't say they speak English because the word bus is not necessarily an English word, but it's shared with a few others, I guess. But people are driving on the right. Yep. So that's a clue. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a flag on a flagpole that's not furled out, so that doesn't help me. Mm hmm. There is a blurring out of a name. Did you do the blurring on no, the top no, of that actually, building? No, actually, that was done. It was already done. Yeah. So. <clears throat> because the word porca whatever is, um, that's superimposed on the map, but the word yes. bus is on the exactly. painted, painted right on the lane. Exactly, yeah. This one's tricky. Very tricky. It sure is. The trees aren't very tall. No, they're not, actually. <laughs> which was suggest to me like northern Europe. Um, lots of lines. Looks to be well planned. Nice architecture. Fairly new. I'm going back to Scandinavia. I'm going to say Finland again. Am I allowed to use the same country twice? Yeah, you can use okay, the same country. I'll say Finland. You are correct. This is Finland. Is it really? It is Finland. If you look off to the right, there's a yellow sign on the pole. Yeah. If you look at the bottom right of that sign, there's a little Finland flag on the top of that building up there, right underneath this green sign. It's very small. Do you see it? I don't. So I'm on the right. On the right. Follow I the pole up to the yellow sign. Yeah. I don't even know what I don't even know what's on that sign, but if you right. look at the bottom right corner of that sign, uh -huh. there's a Finnish flag that's on top of that brick building. Wow. Can you see I it see now? it now. Yeah. <laughs> I just, the only thing I was going on was that, that pork, uh, cadella, like it's, yeah. it has that Finnish kind of look to it. Mm. And that's, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have All right. All much right. less of an idea. So. Good job. Good job. All righty. Number six, I think we're on. We're coming up on six. Yeah. Okay. So this is the moon. <laughs> oh no, it's not the moon. There's a few vehicles there in yeah. the distance. They look North American, but I'm guessing they're not. Very rocky, and it's 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 got a, a and the Arizona kind of yeah, look to that. it, but I'm sure it isn't. Might be. You wouldn't give me two United States in this, would you? you Unlikely. Have Kansas. Unlikely. Unlikely. Um. I'm going to say Mexico. Ah, oh, that's that's actually probably a pretty good guess. Uh, it's not. It's Australia. Oh. But Mexico was a very good guess because that I probably actually I, I probably would have guessed Mexico yeah. if I didn't know. Cool. Next up, number seven. Oh wow! How cool is that? Very strange to see such an amazing, nice, colonial almost house or structure and then a bunch of dirt and emptiness to the left of it <clears throat> is it ever <laughs> and like i know in in a place like saudi arabia for instance they have westerners who are allowed to stay there but they all stay in a compound right because they don't want to cross contaminate culturally so in, inside the compound westerners particularly women can dress in basically Western clothing as opposed to being robed. Yeah. So they keep, and they can also, like, well, it's unofficial, I think, but they can drink alcohol and, and engage in other things you'd normally. Oh, other questionable. Well, not questionable, but just other Western pursuits that would maybe be forbidden by the kingdom. Okay. Uh, normally for everybody else. So I'm wondering if this isn't that kind of situation where we've got a compound that, is exclusive to its residents and other people can't go in or out. Although that is obviously a gate that allows passage mm -hmm. back and forth. But doesn't look like a serious security situation. But why would you have a gate if you didn't want security? So, <laughs> And the columns on that building, that main building in the center. Almost looks like the White House a little bit. It looks a little bit like the White House or, or a Greek 
uh, temple or even Roman, but it's got that Greek Corinthian kind of look to it, if you ask me. Mm. Uh, so, wow. Big lion statue in the front there, too. Yeah. That's strange. And that vehicle, though, on the left, it looks pretty rattle trap, doesn't it? Mm. And in the distance, you've got some other vehicles and probably residential stuff. Very strange. Very strange. So, uh, I'm not going to get any clues until I get it wrong first. So I may as well go ahead and get it wrong. Um, <laughs> is this a country that, that, that is a decent sized major country or is it something that's obscure? Like it's not Andaman and Nicobar or something? No, it's a, you know this country. Yeah. Okay. I know this country. Yeah. I know this country. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Saudi Arabia. Incorrect. Okay. Um, quite incorrect. This is in the Caribbean. Oh, oh, oh. That's your hint. I'll let you guess again, even though you got it wrong. <clears throat> Jamaica. Pretty close. It's Haiti. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because like, I know Jamaica has good areas and they lots do, of good yeah. areas. Yeah. I thought maybe that was something to do with that. Mm. But I didn't see any tropical vegetation. That's why I wasn't thinking Caribbean. Mm. I see mostly what looks like deciduous trees, so. Haiti, no kidding. Okay. Well, you'll see some vegetation in the next one if you want Will to I? scoot on over. Go over to number eight. Oh, how cool is that? And and it looks of a tropical nature too. That yep. That plant on or a tree, whatever it is, on the left. Mm. And on the right, that looks almost like a almost a cruise ship crashed on shore. And <laughs> yeah, I can see that actually. It's got like the cruise ship balconies, but very, very. Uh, Artistic. I'm thinking Europe or Eastern Europe. Um, like, is that the Danube? Is this, uh, but no, that's tro more tropical. So I'm thinking South. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm somewhat stumped here. Is this like Southern Greece or something? I'm going to say Greece. Okay. Uh, incorrect. Do you notice all the trash? I the do. Ground? I do. What's it? We think that's indicative of. I think that's indicative of. Like what? Is it specific couple of countries? I don't that, know if I want to say. I mean, it's. Countries that probably don't have the same kind of. There's just countries that don't, are they just don't have the same sanitation and same effort, garbage effort that we. That we do. Well, based on documentaries and things, I would think India or Bangladesh or something Bangladesh, like that. Bangladesh, yeah. Bangladesh. Is that what it is? It is, okay. yeah. So All right. I thought that might be a little bit of a hint for yeah, you. Yeah, it is a very good hint. I, and yeah. I wasn't trying to be like insulting or rude oh, or anything. Oh, no. It's just, it is what it is. Just, it is what it is, right? It is so, what it is, yeah. yeah. There's so many people living there and not much infrastructure yet to deal with uh, the things we leave behind. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one. Next one. I keep waiting for you to change the oh. channel for me. <laughs> Mm, got these really nice, fancy, very expensive plastic chairs. Uh, that's cool. Beautiful, uh, though, eh? It's gorgeous. Hills, you can see way in the distance. It goes down to a valley, it looks like. Yeah. Horse off to the right. Nice fence. It's just lovely. Just lovely. The white picket fence mm -hmm. and the whole thing. You can't see it in the picture, but off to the left, there's uh, a hammock set up. And oh, yeah. And a better view. And off to the right, the hill goes up. Even, even higher. It's really nice. So we're up fairly high here. We've got what looks like a, well, it's not a cedar. I don't think it could be a cedar tree. I don't think they're that big. But maybe they are some places. I don't know. Uh, and a ladder that goes up to that tree. But it's not like they're going to go up there and get apples or anything. Hmm. I'm going to say New Zealand. Ooh, New Zealand. That's actually not a bad guess because it does look like New Zealand. It's not. You got it wrong. It's Colombia. Oh. Is it really? Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Very good. The final one, number 10. Number 10. Very difficult one. Very, oh, very difficult. Now we're on the moon. <laughs> very, very difficult. Okay, that does look like a body of water. It looks very white as if it's got a lot of salt in it. Uh, very dry ground here. Very dry. But not so dry that they don't get some grass. Hmm. hmm. 
I think I'm going to go back and revisit one of my earlier predictions. Okay. Because this, to me, this is what I think Israel or Jordan would look like near the red, near the Dead Sea. Sorry, the Dead Sea. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Or it could be anywhere in the Arabian Peninsula. It could be Iraq. It could be Yemen. But all that white out there, I'm thinking that's salt. This could you be. You are correct. This could be really high too. This could be up in Bolivia or something, up next to some lake that's dried out on top of a mountain somewhere. But um, I'm going to say Kazakhstan. You're pretty close. It's not Kazakhstan. You're pretty close. Uh, what's next this weekend in the United States of America? Thanksgiving. What do people eat on Thanksgiving? <laughs> okay. Turkey. 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 Yeah. Turkey. You got... Right continent. That's two correct. It. Well, I'm surprised I got those. That's, our, that's the most difficult one that we've done yeah, so that, far. Those are tough because yeah. what country I'm in, you know, it's even people, <laughs> like I say, even people from Turkey. Yeah. Oh, recognize right away. No problem. No, <laughs> they wouldn't. I like how your Turkey accent is the exact same as your Romanian accent. <laughs> That's all I do. This is kind of a vampire guy, you know. <laughs> vampire guy. Uh, all right. Well, that wraps up this one. We'll definitely do this again in the future, probably in the next couple of weeks or so. Is there any specific version of this series that you'd like to, to do? do of like the that? ones we've done so far, I yep. really like the aerial ones. Okay. I like the ones that mix rural and urban. So, like, you had one that had uh, a few like just a highway and some, I like, I like there to be some human made structure, Okay, a highway, a bridge, a sidewalk or something rather than just land mm. and dead bushes. Okay. Because that just as far as giving me something to hang my hat on, mm. a, one kind of a clue. I like them all. I'll do these till I pass out. But, oh, okay. <laughs> but I really like ones that give me a fighting chance. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. No problem. <laughs> Uh, thanks for playing along. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys played along at home and uh, kept score. And uh, please share that score with us down in the comments section. We'd love to, to know how you did and uh, see if you beat the goat over here. Uh, we, yeah. have, we have a lot of fun doing these, so yeah. we hope you do too as well. Hope you can subscribe if you're not already so you can catch future videos just like this. If you haven't seen uh, many videos on this channel at all, please go check them out. We just did a fun video the other week uh, looking at MLB colors and logos made as hockey jerseys. We had a lot of fun doing that. So go, go take a peek at that. Lots of people are watching that and they seem to really enjoy it. So uh, we're really happy about that. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're having a good week and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Adios.